Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I uploaded this walkthrough several days ago. Um, and <laughs> it might be a combination of a couple of walkthroughs. I just grabbed some bags and we're going to do a haul. I hope you guys are doing great. I don't even know the day of the week. It has to be Wednesday. Yes, because I was off yesterday. Yeah, if I'm not working, sometimes I can't keep up with the days, okay? Uh, this is my second day off. I have one more. I love when I have three off in a row. Um, been busy. It's like moving things to the storage room is like moving again. Going through things, what do I need? What do I want to sell at the flea market? What am I doing? What's trash? It's really like moving again. And uh, <laughs> the other day I was taking pictures of the wreath on the door to upload to Etsy and I opened the door and something said look down in between my front door has a screen door to it I looked down tell me why a gecko didn't crawl underneath my screen door and was in between my front door and my door and I wasn't sure if it was alive or playing possum it was dead I took I spy three days to get it. He was scared too. I do not need a house with no yard. Back here's a concrete jungle. In the front there's grass and stuff. I can't take it, y'all. Y'all know I I don't think I'll ever open that door again. But let's get into this haul. I was so happy to find these diamond daily containers. I forgot I was looking for them, guys. Tupperware never seems to make it back home when we pack lunch for work. Uh, sometimes it stays in the work bag or it gets left in the car and then it gets all moldy and then it goes in the trash. These are perfect and they're bigger than the other little cups that Dollar Tree has been giving us. Don't mind my nails. I'm popping them off and I'm still working on a couple of reefs and that hot glue is not good for my nails. So, the, you know, my press-ons, I don't want to mess them up. But yeah, I was so happy to find these. And these are how many ounces? 5.5 5 ounces. You could even put a little yogurt in there. Um, fruit, salsa, dips, mayo, salad dressing that you want on the side. It shows you on the back. I couldn't believe that this made it my way. And I only found this at one of my stores and I found it at a store I don't usually go to. I am going to pop back in there and if they have more, I'm going to get more. I think they had a full unopened um, case and I don't know if it's still there, but I'm going to get some more. It says ideal for fruits, nuts, and portion control. So be on the lookout. This might be old news to you guys because I have been looking or I thought I was looking for this for a while. I've seen this a while ago, but I'm just now seeing it in my local stores now. So happy that we got some apple pie filling. I'm going to the store. I have not even left my house today yet, which is not unlike me, which is unlike me. Um, it's probably almost four o'clock in the afternoon, um, but I have been home. I didn't get out of bed till probably close to 10. I washed my hair, um, working on a wreath, cooked. I haven't even left yet, but I am going to make my rounds. So uh, yeah, mother's made apple pie filling. I'm going to get some pastry sheets and Starbucks, which I have not been spending my money. I spy has been. Um, I got a story time about them for you, what they did to me. Maybe I'll do a, a grown woman chit chat. Um, but, but if he buys it, of course, I'll take it. But I'm, I haven't been giving them my money. Well, they have this apple blossom or some kind of apple croissant. Apple croissant. OMG, it is so good. And somebody on TikTok, scrolling on TikTok last night... This woman talked about the Starbucks, um, what do they call it? Apple Blossom or whatever they call it. And she says she's tired of giving that. It's like $4 and it's not that big at all. The apple croissant. Well, she made it and I'm going to make it. So here it is. And I'm going to go back and get more of this. The Best Buy date is um, September 2026. That's a good Best Buy date. So I'm going to go get several more cans. And uh well, you know what? Let me try it first because I love cherry filling and their cherry filling from Mother's Made is just okay. Um, so let me taste it first. And if I like it, I'm going to go back. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do because there's plenty on the local store shelves. So got that. Was happy to see more Minute Rice. 
thank you for those who responded when I asked was the jalapeno rice um, spicy because I don't do spice I spy does more spice than me um, I'm gonna go back and get it um, because that's all that I could find now all of the other ones are gone but this is a new one and I believe they had this one before this is garlic and olive oil jasmine rice and even though you're getting one this container is about I would say one and a half times the size of the other one so I picked up two this is great like last night I made I spice some fish and I just did a minute rice I mean who has time to be cooking rice these days not me the Alani drinks I love I have not tried one that I do not like so far so I got cappuccino another one and my daily Dollar Tree has some in the fridge so if you're out and about and you want something to drink this satisfies your little coffee you know craving and also you're getting some protein they are not overly sweet you can add a little agave nectar or sweetener of your choice I use agave nectar I use that in my coffees, teas, sometimes sauces. I have just used it as a sweetener over white sugar. It's supposed to be better for you. Um, yeah, so I got two of the cappuccinos and I got one of the maple donuts and I was able to try maple donut cold from one of the stores they had in the refrigerator. And I like it. I really, really like it. Now, I did not try the vanilla. I did try one of the fit shakes and the um, munchies. So it had a little taste like, was it pretzels, caramels, chocolate chip cookies? It was just like, it was pretty good. And that has 20 grams of proteins. These have 10. So if you see these, be on the lookout. And buying them from somewhere else, I think they're $3 and change, someone told me, each. So $1.25, you cannot beat it. I was able to find the Snicker Shakers. And because this is like in the spice section, my local stores had it for a dollar. Um, I thought I grabbed the last one, but there was another one, but I don't even know how I'm going to like this, guys. Great for ice cream, cookies, milkshakes, and more. So I just got one. Just got one. This is a repurchase. Now I Spy likes it, so I have to make sure I keep it. This is the Pure Sparkle, and you're getting four cans. With our price reduction, four cans are a dollar. You can't beat four cans of seltzer um, or sparkling water for a dollar. I like the lemon lime better than the mandarin. Um, so yeah, I will continue to pick that up. This was a surprise find. I did see it on a Havville haul again. My stores are doing better now. They, I used to be all over the place. I used to be in Virginia very often. <laughs> um, everywhere okay rocky mound raleigh everywhere on this dollar tree wild goose chase thankfully um the large kingston store is not bad um and my local stores have been to be honest with you better than kingston lately so when i seen this on the shelf i was surprised i did see this in a Havville hole and i think they found a different scent now i'm not a lavender person but this is lavender wildflower and this smells amazing I grabbed two I think there was three I left one behind I wish I would have grabbed that one this is a dry wash I really <laughs> don't ask me it's GYN um, tested no parabens or MIT preservatives skin friendly scent hypoallergenic for instant freshening on the go now you guys know I work 12 hour shifts sometimes you just if we're wearing full PPE, you're sweating, you might not feel fresh. So this is a perfect, if you work long hours, if you do double shifts, something like this might be good. Um, but I really love the smell of it. It smells really good. And I guess it makes you feel fresh. I really don't understand the concept of dry wash. It says some days a shower is a luxury. We get it. So sensitive scents, lavender, wildflower, dry wash with our famous skin friendly scent gives you a fresh, clean feeling without water. Okay, if you're camping, uh, you and your sensitive, intimate skin will love it. No residue. Um, yeah, so I liked it, guys. If I see more, I definitely will be getting more. Again, I'm sorry I didn't get the other one, but I left one behind. Another surprise find was this in the know setting mist that has a sunscreen in it with the SPF of 30. Um, broad spectrum. Sets makeup. And it provides UAB and UV protection plus blue light protection. Okay, now this I believe is a Walmart closeout because when you Google it, it takes you to the Walmart website. This is what the bottle looks like open, and uh, yeah, it is a fine mist. 
it does smell like alcohol but it doesn't and it smells like sunscreen at the same time I, <laughs> I don't know it doesn't stink so we'll see I mean I already put setting spray on but I just wanted to see how it felt on the skin it says paraben free vegan cruelty free synthetic fragrance free it's recyclable bottle box and bottle and it's dermatology tested now I definitely could have used this when we went to Florida for some reason none of the pool areas had umbrellas and we were just like and when the Sun came the Sun came now hopefully if we take a warm uh, destination vacation while it's cold this will be perfect it does have an expiration date of May 2024 so just keep that in mind um, yeah so Remove pump before recycling bottle, plus check local recycling uh, guidelines. So yeah, I believe this is a Walmart closeout, and I think the price was $15. I'm not sure. Um, it got four stars reviews. I didn't read why it only got four stars. I just didn't. But yeah, be on the lookout. In the hat section, I got this for iSpy, and I really thought I bought him the same hat before. I thought I got a different color. Hold on, don't tell me. I think the beige was lighter. This is like a uh, caramel brown. I think the ones I got him had a lighter tan. This is from Infinity, my local Dollar Tree, my daily Dollar Tree that I took you guys to last night. That was a quick drive. Seriously, when you seen me, I was turning and I was there. Seriously, um, I didn't film everything, but uh, yeah, it's right there. So they finally put these out. I did find some things there last night. She finally got to unpack some things she's really struggling with staffing um so hopefully you know things get better there because i did see some things that i haven't seen anywhere i picked up two pack of these plates and these are the same of the other ones that i've hold all the time the brand is designer in my opinion they're a little bit on the thin side but it's a paper plate it's going to go in the garbage but um it's a little bit on the thin side so keep that in mind i mean you don't want to have to double these up and in my opinion depending on what you're eating you may want to double these up or get you one of those um plastic plate holders to give you extra support because uh these these are thin those are thin so um i like the change in pattern but i think i'm going to stick with the ones that i've been buying and hopefully they're not changing them up because they do that sometimes. Like I used to love the Dollar Tree aluminum foil and on the package it said compared to Reynolds wrap. I used to love it. Well, they made it thinner now. It's it's thin thin city. I mean, it's just it's just like I hope that they aren't doing that to those other ones as well. Now, the little Joe air fresheners I showed you in the video last night, I did find the ones that are the vent clip ones that are the really cute little figures and there's even a, a puppy one i've never had that much luck with vent air fresheners i don't know i just don't smell them i don't know what's going on but this is a four pack and these are in the scent ocean so i didn't think i could go wrong here um yeah i didn't think i can go wrong now in these i only seen this one scent okay but they have a ginger scent there's a cinnamon scent there's a strawberry scent and the little pup is vanilla so be on the lookout if you're interested great stocking stuffers for those you love crafts it's like the craft section was hot and now it's not i haven't seen anything new in the craft section but i did get more of this burlap ribbon this is the burlap that i used on that 18 inch wreath form that i got my mother i really felt like it was good quality and i liked it so i picked up two more rolls i don't know what i'm going to use it for but since i liked it i got it christmas i had to get this gingerbread soap dispenser and i gotta make it to tj maxx i might go there uh, after I hit a couple of Dollar Trees because I seen a TJ Maxx haul last night. It was a Christmas walkthrough and they had this gorgeous gingerbread um, blanket and I have to see it in person. If the colors are what I've seen because a lot of times you see something online and when you see it in person it looks a little different. If the colors are what I hope they are, I'm grabbing that blanket and I am going to change my indoor Christmas theme. My kitchen theme is already gingerbread but it's along with the traditional red and green Christmas. My living room area has always been gold, white, black, gray. Um, for my tree, my ornaments were gold, white, and silver, okay? Um, so I'm looking to switch that up. I was going to add a pop of teal to my tree. Oh, I have to see this blanket in person, but this is a soap dispenser. 
it's ceramic they did have other ones refer to the end store three dollars in the plus section i would have paid five i'm a, I hope you're watching Dollar Tree. Don't get no ideas though. Just because I would have paid more, don't mean raise the prices. All oh, the school bus are bringing the kids home. Hold on. Not my kids. Somebody else's. Hold on. I don't. I don't have kids. Okay. Also for Christmas, I picked up two more of these um, tinsel candies. I have some from last year, but. Uh, They've been stored indoors, so they should be fine. But just in case, I picked up two more of these faux peppermint candies because my theme out here is Candy Cane Lane. So I picked up two more. And there's a whole bunch of really cool DIYs of people making um, faux lollipops and stuff like that. I picked up more garland. I'm not sure how much. It looks like I have at least four in the bag. I did pick up more garland. I'm really upset with Dollar Tree online ordering. I ordered something October 6th. It's still not delivered. I'm, a, I'm pissed with them and their customer service online. Forget about it. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four more garland. And I was so upset, guys, but I'm late to the party. I'm late. I shared with you that you know they have craft fairs and everything here we live like five minutes from the Greenville Convention Center okay which is great because sometimes they have comedy shows they're gonna have like this <laughs> fake Disney on ice show coming up soon um, for the kids uh, we went to the dinosaur exhibit there um, so sometimes there's concerts there or whatever so it's great to live close to the convention center right well every year they have this holiday show where people, vendors, crafters, you know, go and sell their work. And also at JC Park, which is five minutes from me, they're having this big one and I'm off. She has a waiting list. She added me to the waiting list. It's my fault because these registrations opened up in August. These are annual events that they have. So people usually participate or whatever. So, you know, they first come first serve. And me, I was not thinking of selling wreaths <laughs> A few months back so um there is one that's still open the woman told me she got back to me but it's on the weekend I work and I still have the flea market you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna just do this seasonally it's not something I want to do all the time but I think definitely for harvest and for Christmas I would like to you know make reefs but I was just a little bit upset about that but anyway many ornaments I got some more pink mini ornaments just because the pink seems to go fast it does and I also got some larger ones with white and with pink and this gold tone got more of those and I got two more of these pink picks and I have it in the bag just because of the glitter no other reason why I think these are absolutely beautiful I use this on my pink mist wreath and I want to make another pink wreath and I got this I don't know if you guys if you're into the Dollar Tree crafting streets if you guys heard of crafting with Mimi I see her videos they pop up on my timeline on TikTok all the time she has a YouTube channel as well as crafting with Mimi and she did something that I can't believe I mean, all of her crafts are good, and she does a lot with gingerbread. I don't know. This internet is funny. They say they spy on us because I see so much gingerbread videos, and I don't even search them out. They just come on my timeline. I guess because in the Google search, I've been looking for gingerbread things. Any things. Anyway, she took some wrapping paper, some gingerbread wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. She took the faux leather that Dollar Tree sells for the Cricut. She maj podged. I gotta watch the video again. She maj podge the wrapping paper. Somehow she used the iron to transfer it to the leather, the faux leather, and then she cut it out and made like these little gingerbread figures. I don't know how she did it, but I have been wanting to make something with the Grinch, but the Grinch items are so expensive. They are. So here is some Grinch wrapping paper. Dollar Tree has started putting out the wrapping paper, and I was gonna try her little craft. I mean, 125 that's all I have to lose <laughs> um, but it worked and I couldn't believe it so I'm gonna see what I can do 
with this. When I, I mean, it's not on the top of my list, but it's something that I want to try, okay? And uh, worst case scenario, I have Grinch wrapping paper. I am surprised, guys, that these items made it my way. We got the spice rack, and I seen a haul last night that they had the smaller spice rack. I so want to find that for my mom. If you guys remember, you've been rocking with me. I did a little makeover for my mom's kitchen, and um, her cabinets are small, and that spice, the smaller one would be perfect for her cabinets. The one I got from Dee Dee's discount is too big, and the one that came to my local stores is too big. I want, please, Dollar Tree God, to send the small spice rack my way so I can give it to my mom. But I'm equally as surprised that we got what we got. So finally found the Lazy Susan. This is the smaller one. I still want the bigger one because I think that's great for crafting. Especially if you're crafting in a group. You put that big Lazy Susan in the middle of your table. You could put your craft supplies there and everybody could, if they need something, if the red glitter's on the other side of the table, just spin it around. You know what I mean? It just would be fun if you're having a taco night or any kind of food night. You could put all your toppings in the middle of the table and everybody can help themselves. I still want the large Lazy Susan, but I'm happy that I found this one. And you can use this not just for your kitchen, in your bathroom, in a closet, if you have your perfumes or anything like that. Um, I'm sure you can... Um, cover the not spray painted if you want it gold I'm, I'm pretty sure that you could so it's a really nice they're calling it a turntable but it really glides and spins really easy I'm surprised it made it my way there are all different kinds of these storage containers I found the smaller ones I was so surprised to see this one and I got I just happened to be in the right place at the right time that's the thing with a lot of these items is being in the right place at the right time because they go so quickly and also you just don't know where where the store is going to put it you may think okay it's for the kitchen like this was in the kitchen section i don't necessarily consider this a kitchen item it's a drawer storage but it is showing kitchen um items so i guess that's why but you know another store might put it with the storage bins you just don't know it's just like you got to be a mind reader when you walk into dollar tree where did they put it because every store puts things differently but this is my haul guys um, i'm working on a couple of reefs um to get them uploaded to the etsy shop i did a round reef and i'm doing a round reef i should say i'm still working on it and um finishing up the champagne on ice uh i am working want to work on another like glam type candy cane wreath um i don't know i just want to bring a little bit of, of glam you know because that's how my holiday decor is i consider my holiday uh decorations glam for christmas but i don't know if i see these gingerbreads i'm gonna have to glam them up because i want this throw blanket in it it, it would just it just it does it's not a kitty gingerbread blanket if I, if you know what i mean um with the candy canes and stuff like that i have to see it in person so i'm gonna work my way into tj maxx and see it in person and that's about it guys um i do have more hauls coming up thanks for rocking with your girl i will see you in the next video if you're interested in seeing the reefs stay tuned i will share them with you and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye I shared a community post with this one. This is a newer gingerbread one. I have the darker gingerbread cookies and the regular ones. So this one has been on Etsy. So that's a different variation of the gingerbread one. I'm done with the uh, champagne on ice. Um, you know, I second guess myself a lot. But this one is going on Etsy tonight. I absolutely love this one. And I'm going to have, I can make up to six. I believe I can make up to six of the same style. I just love it. I really just love it. Christmas glam. The other one, if I pull it off, Christmas glam. Christmas glam. And here's the round one. I still have to work on that swag, guys. And I may add some flocked picks to this, but this is just a traditional, as traditional as it gets uh, around Christmas wreath. It has the metal Merry Christmas sign, the plaid bow, some pine cones, some ornaments, and I might put some flocked picks in it or might leave it as so. 
And if this one doesn't sell, it definitely will uh, go on my front door. But I'm uploading this one to Etsy tonight as well. The Etsy shop is open. Um, yeah, so I, I like it. I mean, it's traditional. Okay, if you're traditional Christmas and you want to keep it simple, this is simple and traditional. Okay, again, I might add some flock pics to it. Thanks for rocking with your girl. The link to the Etsy shop, if you're interested, is always in my description box. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.